Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hans Heinrich Wenk. I am the author of VCS Virtual Counter Screen and I want to give you a short introduction into this software. What is VCS? VCS is designed to simplify and improve the process of parabolizing telescopic mirrors. It emulates sound screens directly on your computer's display. You do not need a real screen anymore. And VCS compares zones automatically. Now I want to show you very briefly the key functionalities of the current version 2. What you need is a Foucault shadowgram on your computer screen, for example using a webcam. As a first step we have to define the mirror's diameters. The outside diameter, the chamfer diameter and the optical diameter. Next we have to calibrate the Caldex screen above the Foucault shadowgram. I activate Calibrate Now we see the chamfer diameter as a red circle. This circle has to match the mirror's reflecting area exactly. Now we set up the zones. All necessary parameters for calculating inner, outer and effective radii can be defined here. Effective radii are calculated according to Texero, Cauda, niels olof Kalin, or the Pinstick method. The number of zones can be set individually. A center area can be excluded. Additionally, you are free to edit the radii manually by clicking this button. Now it is possible to update specific values. Or you can even clear the entire grid and define all values manually. Much work, but maybe an advantage in some situations. With a single mouse click you can show or hide the various types of radii. The same way the Cauda screen can be toggled on or off. The sonal apertures can now be compared visually without having any unpleasing diffraction effects.
As soon as I have found the center of curvature for a certain zone, I read the current position of the knife edge and write the value to the reading's grid. As you see, the input field changes automatically as soon as I switch to the next zone. When all readings are completed, average values are calculated automatically and you can copy these values to the clipboard and process them in applications like Figure XP for code test analysis or others. Copy, uh, select and copy to clipboard. Okay, this was the way how counter screens have been used up till now, but VCS offers a bit more. It compares zones automatically. I have called this functionality auto compare. Auto compare scans both apertures in very short intervals, for example every 40 milliseconds, and displays brightness histograms for both sides. I move the knife edge now and you see the histograms correspondingly move along the grayscale axis. I change the tone. A short calibration. This is much more exactly than the visual comparison. comparison. You see the difference in brightness as the vertical distance of these two red indicator lines. Here to here. This distance is displayed as a numerical value and additionally as a bar. A very interesting parameter is this setting, the measured area. VCS offers two ways how to compare left and right zone. One is aperture. When selected, VCS works the same way as you do when comparing zones visually. It evaluates the zones, the overall zonal aperture, the whole aperture on both sides. The other possibility is effective radius. In this case, VCS only evaluates a thin line which exactly matches the zone's effective radius. This, exactly this line, here and here. This method has several important advantages, but I cannot go into t details here because this would be beyond the scope of this short introduction.
If you visit the VCS website, you will find many more informations about that. Anti-seeing The anti-seeing algorithm is often helpful to reduce the influence of turbulent air. But there is an extra video that demonstrates this mechanism in detail. What else can be told? Of course, all current settings are stored when the application is closed and automatically reloaded with the next launch. You can additionally save interesting or important configurations to user-defined files that can be reloaded anytime. Here and here. Well, we have reached the end of this short introduction. For further information, please visit the website to VCS Virtual Cauda Screen. Thank you for watching and goodbye.